everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Just begin to breathe here slowly. We're going to begin on child's pose today. So Malasana, we're going to close our eyes. You're going to have to move. Okay. Allowing ourselves to just rest. Forehead down, top of the head down into the mat. Allow your hands, your whole arms to rest behind you towards the back of the mat here. And as you slowly become all tucked into your own body, into your own weight, allowing the palms of the hands to hang heavy as you place them towards the sky, allowing your shoulders and your whole spine to begin to relax here, breathing in, remembering that if you have to adjust the pose as you open this morning, you open up your body, you can place that block underneath your hips, between your feet. allow yourself to breathe here I want you to become strong through the back of the head through the neck all the way through the upper back the mid spine the lower back and begin to breathe in and breathe out first just thank yourself for being here practicing waking up making the effort to connect to yourself to your inner peace breathing in and breathing out when you're ready we're going to bend our arms and we're going to come all the way up slowly and gently here releasing our thigh and stretching continue closing your eyes here Lengthen the spine, begin to tuck that belly button into the spine. Then breathe in and allow those hands to continue to rest down, maybe by your hips, right by the side, or right on your thighs. Notice as you begin to tuck that pelvis in, draw those sit bones down and magnetize the sit bones towards each other. Notice how you engage your low back. You begin to breathe in as you create some space between your thighs. You create some space between the hips, between the pelvis, around your belly, all the way up as you lengthen up your lower ribs, your mid ribs. Breathing in and your high ribs open up. As you exhale, you relax those shoulders down and away from the ears. You try to lengthen the back of the neck. Breathing in through the cervical spine, all the way high up. Allowing that spine to grow a little taller as you open up through the crown of the head. Breathing in and breathing out. I want you to sigh it out on your next breath. Inhale, breathe in. All the way in up to your belly. Exhale, sigh it out. Releasing all negative thoughts, all stress. Just let it go. Inhale. Letting your body know that you're present here, you're here and now, and everything is okay. Exhale, sigh it out. Right hand on your heart, left hand on your belly, breathing in. Feel your midline, your mid spine, the whole thoracic cavity here. And then exhale, sigh it out. Your next breath is just going to be with the nostrils. So inhale. As you inhale, you contract the back of your throat. 
connecting to your ujjayi breath, the breath of the ocean. And then as you exhale, you do the same. Contract the muscles in the back of your throat. And exhale through the nostrils. Inhale. Try to listen to yourself, to your own energy. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Feel that strength and relief at the same time. Release those palms, the hands, and draw them back into the thighs. Try to open up your heart a little more and make it a little bit softer this morning. You're welcoming new energy. As we open slightly our eyes, we want to open up our arms as well. We're receiving new energy. So open up your arms to cactus. Breathing in. Open up 90 degrees to cactus arms. Gazing slightly forward. Maybe you open up your heart a little more. Tilt your pelvis forward. Arch your back. Become strong through your low back. And then exhale, elbows together. Breathing in. And breathing out. Open up once again, inhale, exhale, elbows together. We're going to keep those elbows together, inhale, lift up your elbows, arch your back, maybe thumbs into the forehead, exhale, bring those elbows back down, and then inhale, open up, cactus arms. And then we leave them open. As we exhale, we lower our elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, close them back. And then release your arms. Wonderful. Let's tuck our toes. I'll move a little bit forward so you guys can see me. Tuck our toes just to stretch a little bit here. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in. Open up your arms. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Breathe in. Open up. And exhale. Palms to your thighs. Inhale forward into some cat cows and exhale. Inhale one more time. And exhale. And we're going to gently come forward. As we cross our feet, we sit in our easy pose. Allowing those sit bones to continue to magnetize towards each other. Breathing in. And breathing out. So if you have that belt or a strap, anything handy around here, we're going to use it at this time. Breathing in. If you're working on your half lotus, like I know some people are, just go ahead and press that right foot slightly on the crease of the hip, the hip crease. The right foot goes on top on the left crease, crease, hip crease. And then we open up here. As we grab our strap, Open up your arms to your feet strong, just like we did on cactus arms. Inhale, gazing up forward. And then exhale, bringing that strap forward and rounding up. I want you to contract those muscles. Engage the core muscles, inhale, breathing in. Maybe gazing up and exhale all the way forward. Inhale one more time, high up. And then exhale, down into the right side. I'm gonna be the opposite. 
Continue rooting down through the left hip and rising up through the left arm. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, left side. Come back to center, inhale. And exhale forward and release your strap. So this time we're gonna work on trying to clasp our hands together behind our back. So if you don't have a strap, that's okay. I'm gonna give your back just so you guys uh, can see me. If you don't have a strap, you can stay here grabbing opposite elbows, breathing in, okay? Or if you have a strap, you can place that right arm behind you and the the top of the palm is going to face your your mid spine your back as you lift up your left arm up we're going to bend our arm and then try to clasp as this palm faces down faces towards the back we try to grab here we're going to do the same with the strap so first we grab that right arm we place it in the back and then we grab the strap we place it towards the back lifting up your arm and then lowering it up when we feel that strap we grab it and we tense it out opening up our shoulders away from the spine breathing in and breathing out As we open up more, maybe we try to walk those hands a little closer. Inhale, reach that left elbow high up. And then exhale. We're gonna switch up to the other side. This time I'll face you guys. So left hand goes behind you, underneath you, the top of the palm towards the back and then we grab that strap place it high up on our hands and we bend our arm trying to grab or clasp and then stretch through when you touch that we're creating that contraction with our spine breathing in and breathing out breathe in Maybe walk your hands a little closer and then we exhale. And let's go ahead and just release. We're gonna place that strap right on the side once again. And then place your hands on your knees. Slowly, just beginning to move your body, circling it from side to side. The other side feel your spine go ahead and shake it up just a little bit through the arm moving up forward and back and then let's just release here so let's shift our body forward when you're ready into your tabletop your goasana, breathing in. So finding that alignment here, I want you to engage your fingers. As you open them up, abducting those fingers, press through right this um, area. Hopefully you can see me it's between your thumb and your pointer finger, your index finger. This is what you have to press. And then you almost have to claw your fingers as you engage them. This is how you create and you become stronger through the wrist, through the arm, and the wrists don't hurt as much here. Breathing in, pressing down through the finger knuckles, slowly moving forward and back. So in here, we're gonna create some movement. We're gonna gently tilt our pelvis forward and then push it back towards our child pose just like we started I want you to feel the spine 
and slowly lower your head as you round your spine and bring those hips forward back into tabletop. Look at the movement here. Gently arch your back, come back into your cow pose. And then tilt and push those hips back away from the chest and then back into the heels. Round it up again, round your whole spine. And then inhale up, gaze up, and push those hips back. Drawing that tailbone down. You're just engaging here, your thighs, your upper back, breathing in. Get to know your body and your spine, how it's moving. And then draw those hips back. Come back up, move forward. And when you're ready, just tuck your toes. Push back to downward facing dog. We all know how to soften into this pose, our first inversion. Just allowing your head to hang heavy here, allowing your fingertips to be engaged as well. Breathing in and breathing out. ready just begin to bend your knees tilt that pelvis high up just like we did on the movement we were doing and then begin to walk your feet towards your hands come all the way up to the front of the mat halfway up hands can be on a block hands can be on your shin you're micro bending your knees and sit bones go back into the back of the mat. Breathing in. If you can, just try to lift all 10 toes high up. And then exhale, fold forward, release your toes, release your heart down. And then gently peel your heart forward. Once again, round your back. Notice how you're feeling. You're creating the same movement through the spine. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, breathing in, lengthening the back of your neck. And then we exhale, we roll back down. Inhale, come all the way up. Open up your arms. Together. Exhale, hands to heart center. As we press here, we try to find our Tadasana. So allowing our feet to be hip width apart. Breathing in when you're ready, right hand on your hip, left arm up. And then we take a side bend here, gazing high up into that left arm. Breathing in, you're rooting down through the hips, engaging those thighs. Right elbow back, inhale, come back to center. Right arm up, knee left arm exhale hands to heart center round your back releasing here left arm or left hand into that left thigh right arm up taking that side bend slowly as you engage through the back of the knees so engage those glutes to strengthen the back of your knees breathing in Come back to center, left arm up, slight bend in the back, and then exhale, hands to heart center, fold forward all the way down into Uttanasana, breathe in halfway up, exhale, plant your hands and step back into downward facing dog. Notice that you're strengthening and stretching your whole spine here, breathing in, and breathing out, connecting here into your earth element, rooting down through the finger pads, through the toes, and then gently shift your body forward, bend at the knees, and then your chest 
and the chin. Inhale, up into cobra. So elbows, try to bring them close to the ribs here. Heart forward as you press down to the top of the feet. Exhale, gently bring those hips back. Breathing in, come back to your child's pose. Allowing yourself to rest here. Come back to your tabletop. When you're ready, inhale. Lift the right leg up. And then exhale. Knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to chest. Inhale. This time create a circle here. Open up. Back. Creating that circle, come forward. One more time. Inhale, extend. And then just release that right foot back. Left foot goes out to the left side. And come into your half circle, right arm all the way up. You can stay here just aligning your arm. Breathing in. If you want to make this a little stronger, take it a little bit stronger in your pose, in your practice. Bring that right foot up. Left arm forward, lengthen. And then as we exhale, we bring elbow to knee. Notice how you feel. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, and then release, right arm down. And release the right knee down. Wonderful, guys, let's create that same movement. Hips towards the back. Inhale, round your back, come back forward. One more time, hips towards the back. As you inhale, round your back, come back to your Tadasana. Left foot high up. Square your hips. And then as we exhale, knee to chest. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. This time we open up through that circle diagonally. Breathing in. Creating that shape through the left side. One more time. Come back, stretch, left foot down, and then right foot out to the side. Come into your side or half circle, breathing in, staying here, lift up your left foot, flexing it or dorsi flexing, breathing in, lengthen through your left arm. You can stay here or try to activate the core, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. And we release back down. Come back to your tabletop. And then child's pose. Inhale, round your back. This time, tuck your toes. Feel how this feels. Arch your back, hips towards the back. Allow the head to be the last thing that comes down. And then round your back as you push yourself forward. Breathing in. As you have your toes, go ahead and lift up your hips high up. Breathing in. Begin to walk your hands towards your feet. Bring your feet together. So big toes touching here. Bend at the knees. Hinge at the hips. Maybe you can place your arms or your hands right beside your feet to create some lengthen. Inhale, all the way up. Arms up, come into your chair pose. Breathing in. Tuck the pelvis. So just descending that pelvis down. 
breathing in through your hips. As you exhale, fold forward, release those hands, and then pivot your feet out. We're gonna come into a squat pose. So if you have that block, this is a good time. I'll face you guys. Place that block underneath your hips, and then try to pivot your feet to see where you feel comfortable today. You're gonna feel it in the hamstrings. So try to slowly and gently release those hips down. Breathing in, hands to heart center, press through the elbows back and knees forward. Creating that contraction, breathe in. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, release your palms and bring those hips high up once again. Pivot your feet back to parallel, back to being towards, toes forward. Breathing in here. As you place that left hand down, right underneath your heart, we're gonna bend our left knee. You can place that also on that block and then take a twist here. Breathing in, reach that right arm up. Try to gaze up. Exhale, release, switch up hands, right hand down. Left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Walk all the way forward. Downward facing dog. Sit bones back. And when you're ready, inhale, lift up the right leg high up. And we release it back down. I want you to feel the length through your legs. Inhale, left leg all the way up. And we exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out. When you're ready, left leg high up. And then we exhale, step that left foot forward, pivot the back foot 45 degree angle. So coming into your warrior one, stretching through the arm. Inhale, breathe in. Allowing that left thigh to be parallel to the mat. As you try to align it and push that left knee back towards the left side. Breathe in. Gently, we're gonna open up to warrior two here. So open up, pivot the back foot to a 90 degree angle and reach, try to gaze forward here. Breathing in. And allowing yourself to press through that right knife edge of the right foot in the back. Breathing in. Lengthen that front leg. Maybe try to bring that right foot slightly in to come into your pyramid or extended triangle pose. As you inhale, you reach forward and your hips go back. Breathing in. Exhale, left hand down into the shin or into a block. Or maybe just release it and have it hanging here through, right in front of the ankle. So as you breathe in here, you align yourself, you micro bend that left knee, or maybe bend it a little more. Allow yourself to breathe deep here. Releasing your heart high up. And that right hip goes back. Swallow the navel in. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, come up into your star pose. We're gonna pivot our feet and come into the back of the mat. Just allow my voice to guide you. We're gonna do the same three poses. So open up first towards the front of the mat, actually. So pivot your hips towards the front. When you're ready, open up and bend that right knee in. Warrior one, squaring those hips, 
draw that navel in and just soften your tailbone down as you try to bring it close to the earth. Open up to warrior two, pivot the back foot again, 90 degrees, and lengthen through your arms. Bring those arms parallel to the mat, gazing forward. And when you're ready, begin stretching through that right leg. If you have to pivot or bring that left foot in, we're gonna come into our extended triangle pose. Uttita Chikpanasana. So breathe in, reach forward with that right hand. Your left hip goes back, and then we release the right hand down into that shin, into a block, or just right hand. Hanging nice and heavy as you bring the right torso towards the left side. You engage it and you open up a little deeper here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Allowing your body to feel good through the breath here. Engaging the torso here. Becoming stronger with every breath. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale. And then inhale, star pose. Pivot your feet and come back to the front of the mat. As you exhale, we release our hands all the way back down into the mat and step that left foot back. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's release our knees back down into the mat and come down into your child's pose. So release here, open up your hips. Your arms come forward, forehead down into the mat or maybe chin into the mat. If you feel open through the back of the neck. Breathing in. When you're ready, I want you to create the same movement we did before. So tilt those sit bones high up as you begin to roll your spine and bring the head down. Shifting your heart forward, your chest forward. And then come all the way forward until you release your hips down. Feel the movement here. Maybe you bend your knees and you come into your swan pose. Allowing your arms to be aligned here and bringing those toes a little closer towards the head. Breathe in. High up. And then we exhale, we release, feet back down, hips towards the back, and we create that same movement. Round your back, come back forward, tuck the toes, and step it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, when you're ready, let's take a vinyasa, shift your body forward, create that same roundness in the spine, come all the way to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, high up into your upward facing dog. Hips high up. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, bend your knees, gaze forward. You can hop or maybe walk towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. When we're here, we're going to find our strength through the arches of our feet. So again, standing hip width apart on your Tadasana. You tilt and you engage that navel in, relaxing here. As you engage that left thigh, bringing that left knee up, bring that right knee in into a little knee stretch. Flex the right foot. Wonderful, guys. If you're here, you're gonna release that right foot back as you bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, hands to heart center. Step that right foot all the way back, hand or heart forward. 
coming into your warrior three. And then gently place that right foot back, all 10 toes facing forward. Step into the heel of the back foot. Breathing in and breathing out. Hands can be on your hips so you feel here that you're tucking in the navel. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, open up. Breathe in, bring those elbows high and away towards the back. Opening up a little bit deeper. As you exhale, bring those elbows together around your back. Inhale. Exhale. Gently bring those hands back to your hips. And then step that right foot forward. Whoops. We're activating that left thigh. When you're ready, change it up. So root down through that right leg bring your left knee in interlacing your hands around it to help you grow a little taller squaring those hips the roots are rise through the crown of the head through that left knee slowly and calm with control bring awareness to your breath as you're moving hands to heart center Try to step that left foot towards the back. Shift it back, create that T shape on your Virabhandrasana three, warrior three. Square your hips. And then step that left foot back. And toes facing together. Coming to your crescent moon pose, inhale. Breathing in. You exhale, open up your arm. Then we stay here. Inhale, opening up a little bit, maybe gazing up a little higher. And then we exhale, elbows together. Round your back. Feel the movement of the spine. Inhale, open up. And then exhale. Good job, guys. Hands to your hips to help you come back forward. Good job. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Slowly rotating those hips. Hips back, heart forward. Peeling your heart down. Inhale, halfway up. And then exhale. Bend your knees. Come back up into your chair pose. Breathing in. Maybe just to test yourself, you can come into your little toes, your tippy toes. And then you release. As you exhale, you begin to sit down all the way down into the mat, slowly and gently, with control. And then we come into your boat pose. Sit between your tailbone and your sit bone and try to bring those knees halfway up. If you're a little stronger, just come to your full boat pose. I'm gonna stay on my half boat pose. Breathing in. And then gently begin to release your feet back down into the mat. Adjust yourself. And then bring your feet together, open up at the knees. And then allow your hands to grab around your feet. As you inhale, you lengthen the spine. Feel the cavity between your pelvis and your low ribs. I want you to allow more air to come to this area. And I want you to release as you exhale release anything that doesn't serve you as you inhale invite more light into your life into your body into your thoughts 
Try to lengthen as you inhale. So continue to try to fold your body forward. Fold from your low back, from your navel down. Inhale. And exhale. Release the forehead down a little closer to the seat, to the earth. Round your spine. Bring that pelvis back. Rotate. Your hips come all the way back up. And bring your knees together. Bring your feet up, hug it in. And then release your legs down into your dandasana. Breathing in. Remember you can sit on a block or place some blanket to support you here. If you have that strap, grab it, place it around your feet, right by the bridges of your feet. As you inhale, try to flex our feet, lengthen our spine the same way, and then we exhale, bringing your elbows closer to the ribs as you peel your heart down and allow it to rest. Allow it to extend your whole spine, your whole pelvic floor muscles, your whole thighs, your shins, your calves. Breathe in, come back up. And then allow the right knee to bend. Bend your right knee. Right hand back. You can stay here, just try to twist as you wrap your hands or you can come high up with me lengthen that left arm and then as you exhale you bend the elbow on the outside of that right knee if you want to take it further bring that right foot on the outer edge of the left leg so on the other side breathing in into your Marichiasana C <laughs> breathe in lengthen Engage those fingers. If you're staying on your finger pad, I want you to try to create those claws that we were working on before. Engaging through the fingers, through the palm. And then exhale. Release back forward. Shake it up. And then bend that left knee in. If you're here, left hand behind you, you can stay here, wrap around, and just try to gaze back or lengthen. Right arm up, try to grow nice and tall. As you exhale, elbow to the outside of the left knee. Maybe the left foot goes on the outside of that right leg. Breathing in. Working on your twist, getting to know how spacious your body can be. Breathing in. Notice the alignment on the left shoulder with the left wrist. When you're ready, just release back forward. Shake it out once again. Come all the way down into the mat. So if you're here, you can stay. If you're beginning on your practice, you can stay on your waterfall, lengthening your your legs forward, flexing your feet here. Stay here or reach out with your hands, with your arms, allowing your palms to rest, but engage your navel in. If you want to take your practice further, let's bend our knees and we come into our plow pose first, reaching forward, staying here, supporting with our arms, our low back, and then placing those toes overhead. You're stacking your hips on top of the shoulders. Try to gaze towards the navel, breathing in. Please stay here, just relaxing, or maybe take it 
further up into your shoulder stance. One leg at a time, gazing or bringing that drishti into your toes, into your ankles, breathing in, engaging through your biceps and your triceps. Navel in. As you exhale, bend your knees, come back to plow pose to release from the pose in a nice, safe way. And then support yourself until your hips come back down. If you are on the waterfall pose, just release your knees. We're all gonna meet on, on happy baby pose. So bend your knees, open up your hands, grab the outside of your feet or with your peace fingers which is your middle finger and your pointer finger, your inner index finger. We're gonna grab our big toes. Elbows towards the knees, pressing down, breathing in, and then rocking from side to side. Breathing in. Allow your feet to meet here. Rock forward and back slightly. Like a happy baby. Just allow your legs to begin to stretch all the way down into your Shavasana, breathing in. Feet towards the corners of the mat. Lengthen the spine. We're gonna engage the core one last time. Look at my palms. Palms are slightly up, facing up. And then I slightly bring my head up. As I engage the core, I'm gonna come from side to side. Moving my hands from side to side. Hopefully you can see me. Breathing in. Lift your heels and then release. Arms open up to cactus arms and you breathe in and soften the whole spine. Allowing yourself to thank just today, your weekend, your Saturday, to thank life for allowing you to be here. Expanding your prana, which is your vital life, your force, your energy, creating more health. You breathe, you begin your day in a healthy way, allowing your mind to expand a little deeper, to understand and to rest into the softness and openness of this pose. Scan your body. Bring awareness to the places that you feel more open. The hamstrings, the hips. Shoulders. the arms, all the way into the forehead, and the crown of the head. Expanding your breath one more time. And then sigh it out. Slowly bend your knees. You can stay in your Shavasana. Then meet me on your fetal pose. The right side or the left side. Feeling safe. Feeling healthy. And just knowing everything is okay. Place your left 
calm down to push you all the way up and meet me on your EC pose. Breathing in, lengthen your spine. Notice how you feel inside, right hand on your heart, left hand on your belly, breathe in. Notice the lungs expanding laterally, outwards, becoming bigger every time. Exhale, side out. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Meet me on Anjali Mudra, hands to heart center. Lengthen the spine. And exhale. With gratitude for this moment, I thank you for practicing today with me. Thank you so much. Namaste, guys.